What is good guys and girls of YouTube? It is your boy Justin Namoe here with a quick video for y'all on punching in vocals in FL Studio or just when recording. Now, punching in vocals, let me go ahead and delete this old track here, you know what I'm saying? Punching in vocals is something that isn't too hard to do. It's just that you have to make sure your performance is on key in order to get what your you know your desired effect your feel you want it to be natural or you could just punch in like migos or like eminem he did on rap god just make it intentional that's all good but for now i'm just going to show you the punch in that basically conceals if you if you don't want to conceal it just have it go on that's it so yes punching in now i'm gonna have these lyrics here and i'm gonna just play this beat i'm gonna have that with these lyrics right here so it's gonna be like I got the money, I'm jumping for joy, jumping for joy. Now your boy can buy all of the toys. So it's gonna be just basically that within the same rhythm. I'm gonna intentionally, and by intentionally, I mean I'm really gonna mess up, mess up these, you know, lyrics when I go on. Maybe the pronunciation, maybe the rhythm, maybe I don't have breath, etc. So I'm gonna hit record. I uh, notice I am in insert two, and I'll be routing it into vocal three, insert three after I'm done, just to have the effects on. So yes, record is on, all the records on, everything's armed. I'm gonna hit play, and yeah, right from the top. Yo, I got the money, I'm jumping for joy, jumping for joy. Now your bike, all of the toys, they all cheer me like Roy's a boy. Roy's the boy, I'm punching in like my name is Floyd, like my name is Floyd. Awesome, so right from the start I have a, a mistake, I just, you see how it started so suddenly? It's best to give some space within your recording. I got the money, I'm jump. I got, see how it starts, it says, ah, see it's like cut. I got the money, I'm jumping for Joe. It made me feel so sudden. So instead of recording so suddenly, we could give some breath space and start like this. So it'll be like, you know, it's like, yo, hey, yo. I got the money, I'm jumping for joy. So that's jumping for joy. Really now you're biting. I messed up there. All of the really toys. Bad. They all cheer me like Roy's a boy. Roy's a boy. That's I'm good. punching in like my name is Floyd. Like my name is Floyd. I mess up the flow here. Like my name is Floyd. I was supposed to say just name is Floyd. So what we can do is hold the right alt and the right shift and we could click and then just basically cut release and we could take out vocals like that. So like this one here, like my name is Floyd. I'm gonna just take that out, right click. Or in fact, you could hold the right alt and then left click and, yeah, and then just drag over it, bam. So once again, right alt, just click and then drag over. So yeah, I'm gonna have this muted and I'll leave it there. And next uh, mistake I did was from the beginning basically and up till all of the toys. They all trip all of the toys. They I'll just, you know, I'll keep the all of the toys just to give me a reminder. So it's gonna be like this. Two, three, yo. I got the money, I'm jumping for joy. Or whatever I said there. Yeah, jumping for joy. So cool. Now I know what I'm going to cut. I am going to just basically record over it. Now, for punching in, you have to have, definitely have to have the same performance. Perform like how you would basically record it. So, with that being said, if I go over here, listen to this. All of the toys. If I were like 10 feet away and I'm just saying, you know, um, all of the Roy, the Roy, I don't know, some shit, whatever. What did I say? Uh... Now your boy can buy all of the toys, all of the toys. And then right after it's like, you know, they all cheer me like Roy's the boy. So close up, it's like, yo, that's the difference. I could tell. And editing is going to be a hassle. But, you know, if you can't do it, then that's going to be bad. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Make sure you remember your placements. Put tape on the floor if you have to. And remember, just don't mess with the mic. All right, keep, keep yourself in place. And remember your flow, your rhythm, your style, the way you want to sound. So, you know, I want to sound like, now your boy can buy all of the toys, all of the toys. So it's not like, now your boy can buy all the toys, all the toys, or you know, so. Now your boy can buy all of the toys, uh, all of the toys. Not like that. So since I got that in mind, I'm going to just go from the beginning. I'm going to record over and I'll just stop after when I hit here. So I'm gonna hit record, play. Yo, I got the money, I'm jumping for joy. Jumping for joy. Now your boy can buy all of the toys. 
All of the toys, they all cheer me like Roy's a boy. Roy's a boy. I'm punching in like my name. I was supposed to stop there. But yeah, I noticed there's a different inconsistency. That's something because probably I was a bit further away. So keep that in mind. So let's see how that sounds. Now your boy can buy all of the toys. And for the record, let's just put these in vocal three. They're both in there. Good. Now listen, I'll just play from the top. Yo. I got the money, I'm jumping for joy, jumping for joy. Now your boy can buy all of the toys, all of the toys. You hear that difference? That's because I was recording back away. So remember, you know, just get your, your position right. So maybe closer. So let's try that again. And yeah, I'm supposed to be doing this trial and error stuff for those who's like, oh my God, he's not professional. Yeah. Yo. Hey. I got the money, I'm jumping for joy. Jumping for joy. Now your boy can buy all of the toys. All, all of the, the toys. toys. They all cheer me like Roy as a boy. Good. So you see this vocal's a bit better, you know, or it is better than the last take we took before. The consistency is is there. And yeah, we could conceal it since it's, you know, practically there like that. So I'm going to hit play or route to three and then I'll hit play. Hold on. Hey, I got the money on jumping for joy, jumping for joy. Now your boy can buy all of the toys, all of the toys. So you hear, it's like, oh, maybe that sounds bad. Maybe the other one sounds bad. We could definitely just put this one, cut this one, mute. Hey, so let's see how that sounds. Now your boy can buy all of the toys, all of the toys. They all cheer me like Roy's a boy, Roy's a boy. Cool. It sounds more, it sounds natural in comparison to the other one because I was like all the toys after a big cut. So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, yeah, it may sound like we don't even take a breath here. So keep that also in check. I do have, you know, like a little breath here before we get into the vocal. It does sound natural if you were to perform it. All of the toys, they all cheer me like, ro yeah, that, that works out. You know, all the toys, they all cheer me. So you see how I naturally did that just now? If it's natural, it feels right for you, you're good. Now over here. Punching in like my name is Floyd. Uh, that whole thing, basically. Okay. Roy's a boy. I'm punching in like my name is... That, I don't like the, I'm punching in like my name. I'll just redo that. So now that we know where we want to do that, we could go back. Roy's a boy. If we were to catch on to what we we're like punching in, so let's say Roy's the boy. If we could perform, if we could perform that nicely, so I'm gonna hit play. Roy's, Roy's the boy. boy. So you see, I could do that perfectly, or at least you know on on spot. We could punch in like that. You'll be good. If you can't, I would say go back a little bit, maybe a bar. I'll cheer me like Roy's, Roy's the boy. boy. Roy's, Roy's the boy. boy. So you see how I caught on to the vocal? You have to overlap it because if you don't and you're just waiting like Roy's a boy, they all cheer me like Roy's a boy. You're going to be too sudden and you're not going to be able to consistently fix back yourself into the flow because remember, breathing is also part of recording. So with that in mind, if you go over here and like Roy's a boy, you're going to end up messing up your flow. So you're better off recording while you're speaking, while you got the good, you know, consistency. So I'm going to go to do that. I'm going to start with Roy's the boy because I could catch it, I guess. And then I'm going to say I'm punching in like my name is Floyd. Name is Floyd. I'm going to keep the same name as Floyd part. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record. And yeah. Roy's the boy. I'm punching in like my name is Floyd. Name is Floyd. So you see how I got that there? Um, I am a little bit further away from the mic, so I could redo that if I want. Let's see, it depends. So here, go to route three. Roy's a boy, I'm punching in lemon. So you see how it sounds too wacky in comparison? Cause I'm not as close as I should be. We could probably raise the vocal up some, let's see. Roy's a boy, I'm punching in like my name is Floyd. Name is Floyd. It works, it works. Or you could re-record if you wish. Of course, there's a plane outside. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit closer this time. So let's go ahead and close this. By the way, this is all part of it. So I'm going to hit record. And yeah. Roy's a boy. I'm punching in like my name is Floyd. Name is Floyd. 
Maybe I could redo that one more time and I see I have to be a bit closer. So let me do that. Roy's a boy. I'm punching in like my name is Floyd. Name is Floyd. Okay. I don't like that end piece, but we'll see what we could do because recorded multiple takes. So yes, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit, uh, I'm gonna cut these pieces off right now, or at least mute them. I'm going to route them into vocal three. Mm -hmm. And this one as well, I'll give that one is. And I'm gonna hit play. Roy's a boy, I'm punching in like my name is Floyd. Name is Floyd. The consistency is good there, um, I don't like the last part. Like my name is Floyd. Roy's a boy. I'm punching in like my name is Floyd. Name is Floyd. I don't like that. Name is Floyd. You hear a little flicker too. So what we can do again is cut these other takes that we did and we could try them out. And of course we could just, you know, trial and error. So I'm gonna try the second second. Roy's a boy. I'm punching in like my name. I don't like the punch. So we could cancel that out. Might as well delete it off the face of earth. And let's try this. Roy's a boy. I'm punching in like my name is Floyd. It still works. Um, this is still the, the distant one. So I guess we don't really got an option, don't we? Uh, we could, you know, chop some words here. Just make sure it's, you know, just in it. Roy's a boy. I'm punching in like my name is Floyd. Is, f you hear that? Is, f it's probably um, a pronounce. Let's see. Yeah, it, it, it is on point. It's over here that's not on point. You see how I did it originally? So yeah, um, we could push it forward like this. Hold the left alt button while clicking and dragging. And let's see how that sounds. Roy's a boy. I'm punching in like my name that's is perfect. Floyd. Name is Floyd. Punching in like my name is Floyd. Name is Floyd. I don't like that either. Punching in like my name is Floyd. Name is Floyd. That's good. I like it. Damn, we, we eventually went back with the first one with all of them, didn't we? Oh, except for Floyd. And let's see, just for good measure, the first one. We'll go here. It's Floyd. Like my name is Floyd. Yeah, we don't want that. So that's garbage. Boo boo. Gone. I guess I'll keep these on separate tracks. It doesn't matter. So let's hear that all from the top. Hey. I got the money. I'm jumping for joy. Jumping for joy. Now your boy can buy all of the toys, all of the toys. They all cheer me like Roy's a boy, Roy's a boy. I'm punching in like my name is Floyd, name is Floyd. So you see how consistency, how it consistently felt. Um, I'll go over here. All of the toys, they all cheer me like Roy's a boy, Roy's a boy. I'm punching in like my name is Floyd. You see it has that closure, greatness, niceness. Into it, you're good. If you have it like that, you're good. Oh. If you by any chance have any clicking or feel or hear any clicking, you could do what is known as crossfading. So let's say, for example, let's go do something very stupid, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. It's all good. It's just example. Let's say we do this. Boy, I'm punching in lemon. Uh, punching in. So you notice how I did that? Um, this is something you have to keep in mind. If you have extra vocals like sticking out from the same track, I wouldn't recommend doing this part. Although you can do like something known as, you know, making it unique. So uh, good, just for good measures, just cut the end piece that you want, make it unique. So click here, go to make unique, click it. What happens is it makes a new track. It duplicates it and just keeps that part. So this part here has no affiliation with this part anymore. So I could, you know, like lower the volume here or change the pitch or do whatever. And it won't affect this one here. So yeah, now that we have the unique, let's just do something called crossfading. So I'm going to click here, go to crossfade with, and then click here. So the reason, the way how it will crossfade is, oops, I clicked it. It'll detect what is overlapping. So in this case, we did two underscore 11. So what happened is it crossfaded. It just went, went down. So with this, we could be able to fade it in crossfade, basically make an X and fade it in nicely. Now, if I hit play, let's see how that sounds. Boy, I'm punching in lemon. So it's kind of, I'm punching in lemon. I'm punching in like man. It worked. I'm punching in lemon. I'm punching in lap. You could kind of hear a little bit of the double. In any case, you could stretch it out more or bring it back and then do something like that. So it'll just go down, fade down. I'm punching in lemon. You hear how perfect that is now? 
I'm gonna do it one more time from here. Roy's a boy. I'm punching in like my name is Floyd. So you see, I even got the, the I'm punching in like my name is Floyd part. Even though I had it in the first one. But yes, notice how you could do the crossfading and it'll help take out some natural stuff or unnatural things. This could help when you get clicking sounds. The clicking sounds will all like a fur or a fur effect when you have like, let's say we cut the vocal like here. Notice the point of the line. Uh, if I, I can't, I can't go any more closer unless I get CPU issues, but just know um, right here, notice how the point is ending right up in the top. If you have a punch in vocal and it starts from the bottom or something, the waveform point, that'll create a little click. So look at my, uh, my fingers right here. So let's say it ends like that and then begins like this. It'll make a <coughs> that quick retract. It's going to make a pop sound. Uh, in this case, I don't have that example, or at least I don't see one. Uh, we could probably mute this. And... Nah, nah, because I'm not doing like right over the voice. Let's see, maybe I could do it here. Toys, they all cheer me. All right, you hear that little <coughs> toys? They all cheer me like just like that. That is where you know crossfading will help. Let's see, two ten. Yeah, so it was it's good. But if you want for good measures, again, we could just click here make unique the reason why i'm making it unique is because after it crossfades it just literally dies out within the rest of the um, project i'm not sure if it's a uh, bug on fl studio right now or if i'm doing something wrong just good measures right so yeah again crossfade with two underscore eight um let's see if it'll show that option yeah see how it doesn't say crossfade with that's because i took out the overlap so let me put that back Control z blah blah crossfade and here we got two underscore eight. So let's see if we get that click sound. Toys, they all cheer me like... Not really, but you do hear the volume consistency issue because these were two different distances or takes. And yeah, distance. Um, go back to pencil. I like pencil. Okay. Let's try crossfade it with that. So it does a entire X. Shit. So if I show you this... Notice how it ends right in the middle, or not ends, but meet in the middle. That's a perfect crossfade. So I'm going to go ahead and... Toys, they all cheer me like... Yeah, it, it takes out the click, but since the volumes are different, it's going to be that issue. We can, since we made it unique, is raise it up. Toys, they all cheer me... Toys, they all cheer me like... It's a little bit better there. It's also due to, like, you know, performance. Let's say... Uh, Let's see, we could play around with it. So move it back some like that and probably just cut that. Toys, they all cheer me. Okay. Yeah, it has to do with just, you know, fading in or finding a nice spot. So let's say right here. Toy, toys, they all cheer me like. Yeah, it's less of a click. That's why I, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend going over like existing loud vocals. I would go to the nearest low cut voice. Um, in our, our example, the first one we did was perfect, where we cut it right here and you know, bada boom, bada bing, story done. Didn't have to worry. Oh shit! Didn't have to worry about it. Toys, too much. they all cheer me like Roy's. Yeah. Toys, they all cheer me like Roy's a boy. So you see how that is. But yeah, the, anyways, that's how punching in is. That's the basics and mainly everything you should know about punching in. In most cases, just measure and make sure your position is right. Your consistency, your performance is right. You're not changing up your words or your style. Uh, You could change words. But make sure it's like um, basically the same. It's like perfectly the same when you record over. That way you'll get the most natural and unnoticed punch in for your vocals so yeah that's basically it hopefully you like this video i'm sorry if i look a little bit like blurry that's just how the webcam stays and yeah thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to your boy justin amoy if you want to see more and with that being said check out my gaming channel i just felt like saying that it's there and yeah peace i'm out